Okay, guys, so in the last video, we saw how to create the home screen. This is how the home screen looks like. I think we did a really great job. Um, in this video, we are going to look at how to create the search screen here. Yeah. So let's get right into it. Okay, so okay, so let's come back and in the screens we will say okay. Okay, so let's come back and in the screens we say search dot that. Okay. As always, we we'll import material dot that. Uh, with a straightforward call it search screen. Okay, now so um this is what we are trying to achieve. Okay, so let's get right into it. So of course we'll be using a scaffold. Then in here we'll have our body where we have our safe area and of course padding. We've done this a lot of times. So we say edge inside the symmetric. Let's call say 15 horizontal 15 as well. Okay. And then I think it's now time to give the child. And of course, we'll be saying a column. Here we have a children. Our first would be the search, where we give it a letter of style and say text style. Give it a font size of 20 and a font weight of font weight dot bold. Okay. Now let's see what we got by first of all taking this set screen and coming to the home screen. All right. Let's just import it. And there we go. I think we might need a hot restart for our changes to show. Okay, now let's check what we got. Splash screen, we've already done all those. If you are new and you are just watching this channel, you could watch the other videos for all those. We have our login, our save. This is what you have already created, and now this is our set screen. So I think we should get I'm um, working on it some more. So let's go back to the set screen and uh let's give it a size box of height, let's just say five. And the next thing will be our custom X form field where we have a controller. So let's just uh, fit the controller. So we say final X editing controller. We say text editing controller. Let's just assign that to this, and we would have to remove the const. And then we see search. Let's get rid of this copy lines and we do. Okay. Now let's see what we got. Great. But um in the original um thread screen we are trying to do, um they have a prefix icon. That's so why I do our come here. And yeah, inside here the prefix icon we already have it here. So in here we will say prefix icon and we say icon and we can use the package we installed icon light okay dot search let's just call this so there we go now all we have to do now is say cost as alignment and say as alignment dot start. Let's see our changes. Looking great. I think maybe we could increase the size to say 24. Okay, and maybe here to say eight. Okay, this looks great. Now let's see what we got next. Okay, so this now this is a whole section. Okay, so I think um it would be best if I create a separate widget for that. And so in the widget section, let me see um, 
search people. Yes, <laughs> I'm bad at naming. Sorry for that. <laughs> and let's see, uh, import uh, material. That. I just put, uh, I think, a stateless would it will do. I just call uh, search people. All right. Now it will be a list style. Okay. And then we'll have our leading. It will be a circle avatar. Let's say the radius to 20. Then the background image to accept image where we specify the path. We we'll say asset images. We we'll say rock dot jpeg. Okay. And let's just take this search people. Come back to the search screen and uh, let's give it a size box and say a height of say 10. Uh, let's place this there. All right. Of course, we will need to import it. So let's just do that real quick. There we go. And uh, let's see what we got. Okay, so I think <laughs> yeah, we'll so the next thing we have to do is go back to search people and continue. Um, okay, so we will continue with the title. And we will have a column where we say children. And the first thing will be a text. We say is a uh, put your name there. Now, um, in case you are confused, um, this is what um following. I just uh, bring it search screen back and find it and yep there we go okay so this is what we are trying to follow okay so we are not confused now of course a little styling we do so let's see a text style the yeah, font size of um, and a font weight a font weight of font weight I think we'll copy that. Okay. We'll remove it here. I think this is big. Let's say 17 and let's say 15. Okay. So let's see what we have. So this is what we have. Okay. There's a little bit of improvement. So let's see. Alignment okay, you're getting there. And then uh yeah, you would see that fixing two point three million followers, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh that is looking great. Okay, I think um Let's just add the size box to this. The height of four, maybe. So there's a little bit of space in there. Okay. I think this is better. Um, let's see what we got. I think um, the custom button. So let's get out of the column and say trailing. We'll be using um container a height of say, 30 or weight of just 100 then the child of the container will be our custom button i did tell you earlier that the button the limited button is something we'll be using a lot so there you go then here you see follow we would have to remove the console and bounce everywhere else There we go. Let's just remove this cone. This cones. Okay, there we go. Maybe we could just change this to a size box. That's what we got. Okay, it's looking great. I think uh, we do have to change the background color of the button. Let's just say highlight the appearance. Okay, it is looking great. <laughs> so let's just uh take this search people and uh, come back. I think we could post it as many as we want. 
Okay, I think that's enough. Let's see. Looking great. Um, in here, we do have some kind of divider. Okay, so then we add a divider. There we go. And uh, we'll give it a thickness of three and an indent of, say, uh, 30. Okay, let's let just make it 60. Let's just double that. Uh, let's copy it. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got. Okay, this is looking great. Um, so guys, I think that we've done a superb job of cloning the set screen of threads. Um, in the next video, we'll be going to the whole screen. All right, uh, see you in the next video.